Hi everyone, Jay am here of Art and Journals and today I'm going to show you how I turn this Traveler's Notebook insert into a ring binder insert. Alright, now I'm going to start with taking off the staple wires. There are two staple wires for this binding. It is an insert from the Traveler's Notebook which is insert number 13. And I like this paper because it is made of tamale weaver paper. After removing the staple bound wires, the wires, I'm going to trace the size of the insert of the ring binder over it and directly cut using a steel ruler, a cutting mat, and a box cutter. This paper is really thin, so you have to be careful in cutting it. It is quite sen sensitive at um, a 50 AG, 50 AGSM thickness. So I'm just showing you two sheets being cut first, cutting manually and then punching it with the six binder puncher and then trying it to my mouth then. The next cutting that I will show you is using, is using a cut uh, guillotine cutter. I tried a few pages and aligned it there and measuring the insert of the ring binder and putting some allowance for, for mistakes. But then when I cut it, the bottom part did not cut well because it is so thin so i decided to go back and using the cutting mat steel ruler and box cutter to cut the rest of the paper inserts now, now as i have said the paper of insert number 13 is made of tomorrow paper paper and i really love this paper because when i use the fountain pen the pen just glides smoothly and it also shows the beautiful characteristic of the ink that I am using. Now one insert contains 128 pages. If you write daily on one page, one insert can last you for three months worth of writing. And this insert that I bought from Scribe just costs around 225 pesos. So if you need one page for the whole year, you just need three three pieces of this insert and then use it daily on one page. Now these are the inserts I have cut and I'm going to punch them now using a six hole puncher and put it in my Filofax Amazana. When punching, I was able to punch around eight sheets of paper in one go and anything thicker than that the puncher will have a hard time punching it now it depends which brand of puncher you have i'm using right here a, a kw3 six hole adjustable puncher it can also punch in a5 and in pocket size Later, I'm going to try to print on some grid, but I am afraid because the Tomoe River paper is a really thin paper. I hope my printer will accept it easily and will not crumple the paper. Now, this is the work of one insert inside a ring binder. Thank you for watching.